When I first met Laura, we just hit it off. Laura seemed like a normal girl. I loved her. Our marriage now isn't a marriage. It's been a long time since we've had sex. That's our bed, that's where I sleep, that's where she sleeps. She typically wears a surgical mask, binds her hands together, and recently her feet as well, which scares me. I have no idea why she's doing that. What if I develop some sort of a sleep disorder where I hurt people or, or do things in my sleep and then don't remember them in the morning? Again, tolerate sex because of my fear of bodily fluids and my fear of contaminating him. We can't even hold hands at this point. Whenever I have intrusive thoughts about sex or, or say the word, I have to tap my knee four times to cancel it or neutralize those thoughts. When we had the conversation about divorcing, she basically told me, if you leave me, you're letting me die. When you say for better or for worse, you don't usually think about the worse. I can't really see myself with another woman, but I also can't see myself not being intimate for the rest of my life. Laura was determined to travel to Los Angeles to meet me and get help not only for herself, but for her family. She made it here, but in order for us to interview Laura, she had a list of requirements. Take a look. In order to be able to talk to you guys today, I had to make several requests. I asked to make sure everyone took off their watches and that there were no clocks in the room. I had to have pen and paper beside me, so if I needed to write number four or 18, that I could. I requested a white mug because I only drink from white mugs, and I requested the water in glass bottles as well. If I don't have these things, I can't function. I have a huge fear of people laughing at me, thinking I'm crazy. I'm pretty self-conscious about my disorder. Well, Laura got what she needed, and we sat down to do the interview, but it seemed like her OCD did most of the talking. I struggled with these issues for a long time before I was officially diagnosed. I just sprayed my hands because I've been touching things around here, and I get worried about picking up the germs. My life before OCD was a lot different. I was very successful. I was pretty social, confident, good self-esteem, funny, laid back. But since the OCD, that's kind of all gone away. I need a drink. I just need someone to open it. I'm looking for this measuring spoon because um, I drink the water in four ounce increments. I just measure the water like I knew I needed that spoon or I wasn't going to be able to drink the water. The OCDs really affected my family life and I feel really guilty and like I'm a horrible mother and wife because of it. I worry a lot about how it's affected Brian. Like, I know he's more stressed and more tired. Like, he's pretty much carrying the workload of two parents right now. I feel like I'm having a lot of intrusive thoughts and that I just need to take some supplements and do some detox. I tap the top of the door once as I walk through with my right hand. That's how I have to move from room to room now. When I left the bathroom, I had to tap each four corners of the light switch near the door. It just brought my anxiety down to a place where I feel like I can focus again. I'm ashamed of what this disorder has made me become. 